Hey guys, we're going to be talking about regional terms today. The regional terms are what we use to describe uh, specific areas of the body correctly, so they're going to be the designated name relating to body position. Uh, like I discussed in the lesson on anatomical planes and directional terms, we assume that the body is in the anatomical position when we give these names. So regional terms uh, designates body position and the position that the body is going to be in is the anatomical position and this is what we will use to describe all the uh, different areas. Just as a quick refresher on the directional terminology, I'll write down the bottom here the position from which we're looking at the body in these drawings. So we have our anterior view which is going to show us the ventral aspect of the body and just across the side here we also have the posterior view and that's going to show us the dorsal aspect of the body. Now just like with the body cavities the regional terms can be subdivided into their separate parts but in part one of this video we'll just uh, focus on the name for the general area before we go into specifics in part two. So the first region we're going to look at is called our cephalic region and this just refers to your whole head. So we'll just uh, quickly draw in here. So we've got the cephalic region. It's going to include your head, your ears, every part of your head, eyes, nose, mouth, chin. That's all known as your cephalic region. And just on the back of the head here too. Okay, so our next area is known as our cervical region. Uh, this just refers to your neck. Now we hear the term cervical quite often in medicine as it's usually referring to the uh, cervical spine or the part of the spine that's in your neck. So we'll just draw that in purple here. And moving on to our next one is the thoracic region. The thoracic region is going to include all of uh, your chest above where your rib cage ends and also the anterior aspect of your body. So we name the back differently. So we've got everything just above the rib cage here, joining back up to the uh, cervical area of the body. Just writing quickly in here that the uh, thoracic region is our chest before we move on to our next region. So our next division will be the upper limb. Your upper limb is going to include from the edge of your shoulder all the way down to your wrist. So I'll just draw that in here. So I've got shoulder, the upper part of the arm above the elbow, all the way down to the wrist. So I'll just quickly draw that on um, all parts of the body. Uh, quickly as a reminder while I'm doing this, remember that we would say the elbow is proximal to the wrist as it's closer to the origin of trunk attachment. Now these are all terms that you should practice describing just to make things easier for yourself. Now our next region is our hand and we call it the manus or manual region and it's designated separately to our upper limb. So our hand, and we'll just draw that one in quickly as well. I always found the uh, easiest way to remember this one is you drive a manual or a stick shift car with your hand to change gears. So that's how you can remember the hand as manual. The next region we'll look at is our lower limbs. Now our lower limbs are going to extend from the bottom of your pelvis all the way to your ankle. Then once we get to uh, the ankle we're going to separate the foot into a different category just like we did with the upper limbs and the hand. So just drawing in the legs really quickly here from the pelvis all the way to the ankle and the posterior side of our body as well. So all of the terms for the lower limb will include your anterior and posterior view. Okay, so we're making some progress here. We only have a few regions left on the ventral aspect of the body, and the first one is your abdominal region. Now, this region here incorporates everything from the bottom of your rib cage to the top of your pelvis, 
and that's going to lead us on to our pelvic region. So the pelvic region just extends down here just a little way on the anterior aspect of the body before we get to the last region on the front or uh, anterior side of our body which is our pubic region where our, our reproductive organs are going to be. So pubic or genital region is the common term and it's just going to be above the uh, start of our thighs here. Okay, so I've just realized that I lied to you earlier. I said the pubic region was the last anterior aspect of our body, but it's actually not. Our pedal region or foot will include views that can only be seen from an anterior view and from a posterior view. So remembering uh, the foot is simply remembering that you pedal on a bike with your feet. So just drawing the feet here, and that's your pedal region. The last uh, major subdivision we're going to be looking at here is the back, or uh, just you can call it the dorsal region of your body as well. So back or dorsal, and it's going to go from the uh, edge of your cervical region to where your shoulders start, and all the way down your back, just to before your gluteals start. So we can see that here. This outline where it ends on the butt, and that's our back region. Now the last region we have on the body here is the gluteal region and the gluteal is just your butt. So just drawing it in here and that's the last region of our body. In part two we're going to subdivide all of these regions and I'll get a little bit more technical and as always thanks for watching and take the quiz to help your understanding.